Welcome to the NBA Draft Lottery being held again this year at the NBA Studios in Secaucus, New Jersey. The NBA Draft itself will take place on June 28th at Sky Dome in Toronto. Today, the order of selection will be determined by the 11th Annual Draft Lottery. First, let's determine what's at stake. Here's a look at some of the prospects who figure to be taken early in the first round. This year's draft features a strong group of forwards led by Maryland's Joe Smith. But Smith there for the slam. From the University of North Carolina, the multi-talented Jerry Stackhouse and Rasheed Wallace. With five on the shot clock, Williams didn't get the bounce. Wallace! Wallace really needs a little space. Oh, Jerry Stackhouse! Fresh off a national championship, UCLA's Ed O'Bannon. Three on three, Ed goes all the way, lays it up and... Also at forward from the SEC, Alabama's Antonio McDice. Oh, damn, damn by McDice. What a catch. And Arkansas's Corliss Williamson. Williamson, what a move. Wow. A center who could go early is Oklahoma State's Bryant Reeves. Oh, yes. Yes. Though the backcourt pickings are slimmer, there's always Michigan State's Sean Respert. Here's Respert for three. That looks good. Among the 11 teams in the lottery, the team with the fewest wins in the regular season, the L.A. Clippers, has a 25% chance of securing the first pick in the draft. The teams tied with the second fewest wins, the Bullets and Timberwolves, have just over an 18% shot, and so on down to Sacramento, which just missed the playoffs and has only a half percent chance of getting the top pick. And now to announce the order of the top picks in this year's NBA draft, here's the commissioner, David Stern. Good afternoon, and welcome to the 1995 NBA draft lottery. Everyone has been briefed on the lottery procedures, so let's get started and find out the order of selection in this year's draft. The 13th pick goes to the Sacramento Kings. That is just where they would have expected to be. They just a half percent chance to get the number the one. The 12th pick. pick goes to the Dallas Mavericks. The 11th pick goes to the Milwaukee Bucks. Form holds thus far, and if it continues, Miami would be next. The 10th pick goes to the Miami Heat. The 9th pick goes to the New Jersey Nets. No surprises yet. The eighth pick goes to the Detroit Pistons. And the Pistons keep their pick rather than that possible swap with San Antonio. Feeling better? <laughs> <laughs> Next season, the NBA will be expanding to Canada with the addition of the Toronto Raptors and the Vancouver Grizzlies. As part of that expansion, the Raptors and the Grizzlies will pick at the seventh and sixth positions in the 1995 draft. Thus, their logos have already been placed on the board. Which team picks where to be decided later? Now back to the envelopes. The fifth pick goes to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Golden State has moved up to one of the first three picks. Philadelphia has also and moved And the up. fourth pick goes to the Washington Bullets. So the top three picks belong to the Warriors, the 76ers, and the Clippers, their representatives seated in the first row. Statistically, the Clippers have the best chance to get the number one pick. To find out the order, again, here's the commissioner, David Stern. Now let's find out who will pick one, two, and three in the 1995 NBA draft. And then we can get back to the game. The third pick in the 1995 NBA draft goes to the Philadelphia 76ers. The second pick 
in the 1995 NBA draft goes to the Los Angeles Clippers. And that means that the Golden State Warriors will pick first in the 1995 NBA draft. Come on up and put this up on the board. Well, let's move in now and talk with the new top man in the front office, Dave Twardzik. You just hired Rick Adelman as your new head coach. Now, obviously, he'll have some input into this. Some thoughts on the first selection? Well, I'd like to take credit for it, but uh, Father Peter was in the background in the other room, so uh, a little divine intervention. We're very happy with this. Uh, now, with, now our homework starts. We have to figure out who we want. Isn't this the priest? Uh, who married the married. team owner? Is that the deal? Yes, married Chris Cohen. I mean, conducted the ceremony, didn't actually marry him. Uh, <laughs> baptized their children. Yes, he's our East Coast chaplain. Yeah, he did a great job today. You have some thoughts on the type of player you'll select, if not the exact player? Uh, not really. I think we're going to get together with all of our basketball people. You mentioned Rick Adelman and, and Ed Gregory, Al Adels. We'll all get involved and, and figure out what's best for us. This has been a turbulent and disappointing year for the Warriors, so now a bit of good, you, good news. Well, we hope uh, by hiring Rick Adelman, that's definitely a step in the right direction, a proven winner, and then uh, having the first pick, it gives us a, a tremendous amount of options, and uh, we look forward to taking big steps. Joe Smith is looked upon by many people as the best player from Maryland. Obviously, you select according to what your specific needs are, but is Smith somebody we might guess at? Well, absolutely. I think if you look at the, the top four guys, they're all underclassmen, and they're all very intriguing. Uh, we just have to, again, start our background research, watch a lot of film, and uh, we're going to go after it. Dave, congratulations. Thanks, Bob. Okay. Dave Twardzik of the Golden State Warriors. Now, by way of review, here's the order of selection for next month's NBA draft. Golden State has the first pick, followed by the Clippers, the 76ers, the Bullets, the Minnesota Timberwolves, then Toronto and Vancouver in some order or other to the new expansion teams. The exact order, six and seven, will be determined prior to the draft next month. Then the Pistons in the eighth slot, the Nets ninth, the Heat tenth, the Bucks eleventh, the Mavericks twelfth, and the Kings thirteenth.